Hello everybody and welcome back to Evolving Vibes, the community for witches, pagans, spiritualists, and everybody in between. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be making my own batch of body butter. Now you can definitely go out and buy moisturizers and body butters anywhere that you want. However, I like making it my own because I like infusing my energy into it and making my own scent specifically for me. So. This is the container I'll be using. I've already cleaned it out because I went through my body butter already. I'm not making my own body butter. I'm making my own magical potion that I can apply to my skin daily. And that helps me with my day, that helps me with my focus, and that helps me getting through my day to days. So if this is something that you wanna do, watch this video in it i'm going to show you how to make your body butter how easy it is to make or at least the way that i make it as well as what kind of intentions and things that you can add to it to make it magical to make it your own so at the end of the video i'll be showing you exactly what the finished product looks like as well as some of the other thoughts and ideas that you may want to put into that body butter um, and into your magical daily practices so i'll see you on the other side of the camera welcome back to the other side of the camera so I'm actually letting my water boil up here because I prefer doing um, the double boiler type method. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not big on microwaves. I don't even own a microwave. I used to, but I just never really used it. So I want to be a little bit more minimalistic. So I got rid of it. So for today, what we're going to be doing is adding unrefined cocoa butter um, into this body butter base and along with that we're going to be adding some shea butter into it and after we've done all of that and we've mixed it up quite nicely we're going to be adding some essential oils now the essential oils that i picked out for today are going to be something that i really really love which is cucumber melon which you might be able to see there and sweet orange i'm going to combine the two to make it my own scent now other things that you will need for this is obviously the container for the body butter which i showed you a little bit earlier and knowing what that container actually holds which is three quarters of a cup we'll be utilizing this to stir everything together and melt it down and at the very end of it all, we'll be utilizing this whisk to turn around and combine the essential oils into it. Now, trigger alert. You can watch a lot of different body butter videos on YouTube. And there's whisks involved, or there's electric mixes, and all of that. I promise you, you can make this as complicated or as easy as you want to make it. It's all up to you. So now that this water is boiling, I've already measured out my refined um, cocoa butter and I'm putting that in first because it's important to put the ingredients in first that take the longest to boil so that you don't damage the other ingredients. So <clears throat> the cocoa butter does take a while to actually melt down and such. You don't wanna bring it to a boil. I think I might've just said boil by accident, but um, you wanna let it melt down. So I'm going to work on this and I will get back to you in just a little bit with that finished um, product. As this cocoa butter melts down, you'll see I'm stirring to the left. That's to rid any negativity out of my life while I'm wearing it to really repel negativity, negative thoughts, negative actions against me. Anything that I might derive as being negative throughout my day. And then when I turn to the right, I'm actually focusing my energy. I'm bringing me positivity while I wear this. Um, soothing, calming energy. And all of the energy that I may need to be successful and get through my day. And it's important to do this with anything that we're making on our own because that's the big portion of it, right? Really infusing our energy into it. You can see right now, as I carefully pull this up, my cocoa butter has completely melted. So now it's time for me to add my next ingredient, 
which in this case is going to be the body butter because it takes a little bit longer to melt than actually does the shea butter which really just melts in your hand so I'm going to add some of the body butter now to it so I've added my body butter to it and I'm actually going to let that melt down I'm going to start stirring it but I just wanted to give you a caveat don't be a dumbass like me um, when you pull off your body butter cover make sure that you pull off this plastic before trying to scoop anything out because I was like why isn't this working and then I found that so now we're going to stir up the body butter itself again to the right to bring in positivity and to the left to dispel negativity okay you can probably see that it's starting to really nicely melt down but it's not quite ready yet you want to make sure that it melts down completely and that there's no solid objects within your compound as you heat it up and stir it so it takes probably around five to ten minutes in order to really get it into a liquid state that we really want to have it on and I can't stress this enough keep on stirring it you do not want it to boil and you do not any one part of it to be in touch with all that heat and actually get damaged so just keep on staring and keep on trucking. Okay, this is pretty much liquefied. And if you look, you see I'm pretty close to that three-quarter cup mark, which is exactly where I want to be. I'm going to put this on for a little bit longer and let it melt down just a little bit. And then I'll be adding the shea butter to it. okay I have added my shea butter and now I'm just gonna stir that in to the right to bring me positive energy positivity allow me to get through my days with exactly the energy and the effort that I need to be successful pushing away negativity negative thoughts negative actions against me allowing all that to return to sender and again just keep on stirring and as you can tell, as I said earlier, the shea butter really does melt down quickly. So it's actually pretty much melted down now. So we're going to see how close we are to that three-quarter cup mark. So let's pull this out. And let's look at that. And we're nearly at the three-quarter cup mark, as you can probably see there. So we're just going to add a little bit more shea butter. And then this will be done and will be ready for the essential oils. So one more scoop of shea butter. Okay, so you can see I'm exactly at that three quarter mark, exactly where I wanted to be. I've been letting this um, just sit here for a minute or two while I set up the camera, and now I'm really just whisking it a little bit to breathe some life into it. And to get ready to add my essential oils I'm gonna start adding some of my fragrances into this and I'm gonna start off with the cucumber and always start off with just a little bit and work your way up I'm gonna stir that in really well and then I'm gonna take a whiff and see if it's exactly what I want it to be I can already tell you I can smell it from here which is amazing the cucumber really does an amazing job with the body butter so I'm gonna pick it up now and just get a whiff perfect I'm gonna add just a wee bit more of the cucumber and stir it up to the right for the positivity to the left to dispel negativity I 
And I want to check that out now, too. Yeah, that's really smelling nicely. Now, as you're mixing this, a couple of things I do want you to keep in mind. Number one is your essential oil. Make sure that you're using an essential oil that's actually designed to be able to go on skin. In other words, anything that's cleared for soap that can be added to soaps is certainly something you can use for body butter. And I say this because you don't want to go and buy essential oils that you would utilize for um, heating um, properties to smell or for, um, create a fragrance in the house. Those type of heating um, essential oils are not designed to be put on the skin and certainly you can have yourself a little bit of a reaction with that. So just food for thought for you. So let's see how this smells now. That's absolutely smelling perfect. So I'm going to prepare a few other things and I'll be coming back to pour it inside of my container. Okay, so we're back. So a couple of other things I like to do is adding a couple of stones into it. I'm putting a couple of quartz crystals with the intent of positivity and with the intent of good fortune. I'm adding an amethyst crystal or two. Actually, we're putting three. Who am I kidding? And that is going to be for self-love, preservation, and for positivity. And just a couple of more. What am I saying? Three more. Blue carnelian crystals. And that is actually for positivity, for peace, for calmness, and to allow me to get through every part of my day maintaining composure and maintaining calmness. So those crystals will be at the bottom. We are good to stop pouring. So now I will just take this up and we'll pour this right inside the container. And off camera, I'll be getting the residual out of here with my whisk. But that's exactly how you make it. So I'm going to let this cool down. Um, initially, you want to let it cool down for 30 minutes without a cover on it. And then after that, let it cool down for the rest of the day with the cover loosely applied. That's what I find works for me. So this is actually what I'll be utilizing starting tomorrow morning. So I'll be doing a follow-up which showing you what the end product looks like. Hello everyone, it is the next day and I am back and I am back with my finished product of body butter. So the body butter is finished. It smells absolutely amazing and you can see the texture, it's nice, rich and creamy. There we go Coco, go on down. And it's ready to go. Now, I did use cucumber melon um, essential oils with this along with a little bit of orange essential oil. And like I said, it smells absolutely amazing. And you remember the stones I put in it? They're at the bottom there. So, long story short, you can make your own body butter and a lot of your own products uh, because I'll actually be making also um, in the next video coming up down the road um, how to make your own soaps. And I'll be making a really nice honey soap that I usually, uh, usually make for myself again on a monthly basis. But you can make everything that you want to make on your own depending upon your intent depending upon what you want to try and invest some time and energy into making for yourself and don't be discouraged because i've made some really really bad body butters and really 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 bad soaps and it's all about the experience it's all about learning what works what doesn't work and moving on um so that being said if you want to try this feel free give it a shot give yourself that opportunity to try it out when you watch the other video that I'll be putting up down the road with um, how to make your own soaps, 
same thing goes. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be something where you spend hours doing it. You certainly can, but the reality of it is you can make it in a really short amount of time and make it your own. So I do hope you enjoyed this video on the body butter. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please be sure to leave some comments down below to let me know what you think, what you might want to see, and if you've had your own experiences making body butter, lotions, or any soaps in general. And until next time, please, please, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and watch this video on over here because it's going to be showing you some other insightful information on your daily practice as a witch, pagan, and everybody in between. So until next video, be well, be safe, and as always, be blessed.